Hey, this is Oscar with Control Your Health. Today we're going to talk about rotation, specifically rotation of your T-spine, that area of kind of by the ribs and the chest, and who needs rotational or more rotation in their sport. Well, obviously, golf players, baseball players, tennis ball players, martial artists for punching and for getting some maximum power. Um, even if you're someone who's in their car at a stop sign and realize you need to reach back to your car to grab something, you're going to need rotation and you want to be able to rotate without like twisting your low back or hurting your shoulder. Okay, so what we're going to do today is a standing rotational drill. I'm going to be rotating to my right. So what that means is I want you to focus on a couple things on the left side of your body. Before I do that, let's do a baseline. I'm rotating to the right. It's kind of where where I'm at as my baseline. Now, we're gonna retest this by thinking of three things. First is, if I'm rotating to the right, I want you to squeeze your left butt cheek. So, I'm gonna make a fist, I'm gonna tap, punch my butt, try to really cramp my butt as much as I can, squeeze it as hard as I can. That's the first thing. The second thing is I'm gonna drive my left heel into the floor. So, if there was a scale under my foot, under my left heel, I wanna make that scale weigh 1,000 pounds by just driving my foot through the floor. And then the third thing is, the area at the front of my left hip, right where my pocket is, I wanna create space, create space right here in the front of my hip. So the three things are squeezing my butt, cramping as much as I can, driving the left heel into the floor as hard as I can, creating space in the front of my left hip, and now I'm going to rotate. And I'm not sure if that was visual, but for me, physically, it felt a lot better as I rotated. Okay, so that's the first step. We're gonna to add to this now. In addition to what we just did, I want you to think that you're being hoisted up by your neck. So one way that, that I like to do this, and I do this throughout the day because of uh, many years of bad posture, is I interlace my fingers, I place my hands behind my head, I push the back of my head into my hands just a little bit, and then I lift up, trying to make the back of my neck nice and long. Okay, that's the first thing. Um, the second thing is I want you to imagine that each vertebrae is being elongated individually as you're being hoisted up. And then when you start rotating to the right, if you could imagine each vertebrae also rotating to the right. We're gonna do all of that and still do the first three things that we did. I'm gonna walk you through it. So first, we're standing still, standing nice and tall. Since I'm rotating to the right, I wanna squeeze my left butt cheek. Squeeze, cramp. I'm driving the left heel into the floor. I'm trying to make that scale weigh 1,000 pounds through the heel. At the same time, I'm elongating the front side of my left hip here. I'm being hoisted up by my neck. Neck is getting nice and long. Each vertebrae is getting longer. And now I'm gonna rotate each vertebrae as I turn to the right and breathe. And I'm gonna do that one more time. Uh, you wanna try to get maybe three to five breaths and then switch sides, but let's do it one more time together. Okay, first thing is squeeze my butt, left butt cheek squeezing, drive the left heel into the ground as hard as I can, create space in the hips, okay? Elongate the neck. Each vertebrae is getting longer, and I'm gonna to try to visualize rotating each vertebrae. And a big exhale as I turn. So I'm gonna go over it with you. First, since I'm rotating to the left, I want the right side of my body to contract. I'm squeezing my butt. I'm driving the right heel into the floor as hard as I can. I'm creating space here, okay? I'm elongating my spine like I'm being hoisted up each vertebrae getting longer. And now as I rotate, each vertebrae is rotating, rotating, continuing to rotate. And I exhaled as I turned. Give that a try, see if you get some more rotation. Um, and as always, let me know about how it can help.